I'm Michael Engel from Nordtronic, guitarist and electronics engineer from Denmark. As a performing guitarist of many years, I've realized that the more complex my setup, the less focus I have on my instrument and playing. Also being dependent on the position of my pedal board really limits my freedom. I dreamed of having a simple onboard controller that would allow me to change effect parameters and to engage solos anywhere on stage. This is why I created Onboard Expression. Onboard Expression consists of a controller and a receiver. The controller is basically a push-push potentiometer with a center detent, replacing an existing potentiometer in your guitar. Together with the included stereo jack, the installation is super simple and doesn't ruin your guitar or its appearance. No battery required inside the guitar either. Connect the guitar to the receiver with a stereo TRS cable. One channel is carrying the audio signal, the other one is for the controller. The receiver bypasses the guitar signal direct, directly through this port, and the control signal is analyzed inside the receiver. The receiver communicates with external audio equipment through these ports, MIDI out, switch out, and expression out. The receiver has a simple user interface, consisting of three switches and four LEDs. The blue LEDs indicates the position of the controller, and the red LED indicates if it has been pushed. The left switch sets the MIDI control, whether you want program changes or CC messages. The middle one is for the switch out, so you can assign it to pulse normally open, latching normally open, or latching normally closed. And the last switch is for calibration and for MIDI channel select. After installing the controller, you want to redo the calibration. You can save two different calibrations, one and two. Simply hold the option switch upwards for one second to save to calibration one, or two seconds to save to calibration two. Let's hold it for one second and save to calibration one. Follow the LEDs along this process. The center detent makes it easy to find the middle position. The flashing LEDs indicates that the calibration is done and saved. I will now show some examples on how you can use onboard expression. Let's first take a look at the possibilities using the MIDI output. Here we have the receiver connected to this X8 from Fractal Audio. This is an amp modeler and multi effects processor. It works just as well uh, with uh, similar products like the Helix or Kemper. Also, we have the MIDI output from the receiver connected to the X8. With the MIDI setting on program change, I can select between six presets. One, two, three, six, five, and four. With the MIDI setting on one of the CC modes, I can control parameters and engage effects. On this particular preset on the X8, I control uh, the overdrive, some compression when I, when I turn the knob, and uh, when I click it, I get some boost and some delay. So in the beginning, there is some, a little bit of compression on, otherwise a clean guitar. And I can go to an uh, overdriven sound. In the middle, the center tent gives me a nice reference for a crunchy tone. And for the solo, I would like some boost, yeah? But really, only the imagination limits how you can use it. For instance, you can use a pitch where the center detent gives a reference, and you can go an octave up and an octave down. But let's first engage a fuss. We've now hooked up a Strymon Mobius into the effects loop of the X8. The MIDI signal goes from the receiver to the Mobius and from the Mobius to the X8. The Mobius is set to listen to channel 1 and the X8 to channel 2. 
The receiver is currently transmitting on channel 1. So we can control the Mobius. Right now I'm controlling a Vibe. I can engage it by pressing and I can control the speed by turning it. Let's first hit without the Vibe. Engage. And I control the speed. To change the MIDI channel the receiver transmits to, hold the option switch upwards for 4 seconds. Now the 4 LEDs indicates in binary numbers the MIDI channel. This is channel 1, 2, 3, 4 and so forth. There is a special channel that when selected it will transmit MIDI messages when I turn the controller on channel 1 and MIDI messages when I push the controller on channel 2. Let's select that one. Scroll through all the different channels until all LEDs are on. Hold for 2 seconds to save. Now we transmit it on channel 1 only when we turn. So we can control the, the speed of the Mobius. But when I click here, the Mobius isn't affected, but the X8 will turn on an effect. There is some overdrive and some delay, delay turned on. But the vibe is still on. Let's take a closer look at the other outputs. Expression out and switch out. Expression out simulates an expression pedal that is controlled when turning the controller. And switch out simulates a foot switch that is engaged when pressing the controller. Here we have the output from the receiver going to the input of this old Marshall amplifier. In the effects loop we have a Boss RV6, which is a reverb pedal that can be controlled by an expression pedal. The expression out of the receiver is connected to the expression in on the RV6 and the switch out on the receiver is connected to the foot switch input on the amplifier. This enables me to control the mix of the reverb and switch channel on the amplifier. I'll now end this video with a demo of this setup. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll enjoy using onboard expression. Mm.